It's game time. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's September 30th. Uh, last day of Duolingo versus Rosetta Stone. Quick updates on that. Uh, this is gonna be a monthly occasion, by the way. Quick update on that. I've gotten some dictionaries, pocket dictionaries on Spanish and Italian to English. I also got a French one and a Danish phrase book, but those are separate. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. That's just a recap of my last one. If you want a full recap, go check out the last videos on Duolingo versus Rosetta Stone. But welcome to the official documentation, vlog, video, whatever, of my October project. September went great. And this month, I want to do a web development uh, related project. So what I've decided to do for this month is make two webs. And ideally, the goal is to have a portfolio site and a site for something I run as well up on the internet uh, by the end of October. I have a, one sheet here of planning uh, and I have a few more things jotted down I just need to organize. But essentially uh, this first week will be digital mockups and making uh, fake websites, essentially just copying uh, websites out there like Google. Three to five websites is my goal just to get the idea of HTML and CSS down. Week two is to have the static web page done. At the same time, be learning. I think I'm gonna be doing reading uh, for this learning part, but I'm gonna actually think that through because I do have an online Udemy course for that as well. Um, but I will be learning JavaScript and PHP and jQuery and SQL as that goes on. And then the third week, um, I'm gonna keep learning, keep working on backend stuff, and I'll start the static part of the uh, Oinkcraft website, which is the server community I run, uh, and making a website for officially that's not a Weebly website anymore. And then the fourth week will be just getting a lot of backend stuff on my portfolio site working. I have a few things that I want to get working on there, like a blog, very simple content management system. Um, and for Oinkcraft, future term would be like a forum page or something, but what I'm gonna plan right now is really specific goals and really specific benchmarks. So the video will be just a bunch of cuts here and there pretty much between different progress updates. This month I'm also trying to do a wake up schedule, so I'm going to bed by 10.30 and then waking up at six every single morning uh, and a few other small things. But those are the two that are relevant. Off to just tracking my progress. All right, so I made some incredible progress, actually, um, about 30 minutes, and I just kind of sat down and grinded things out. All the things I have planned, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just splash the pictures, the whatever, up on the screen that I have on uh, Evernote. I've had this like all floating around my head, so it's good to get it down on paper, finally. Um, um, week one is... So I have to go find a software for a mock-up. I have to sketch up a very crappy few pages real quick. I told myself I'd do that before I start this project. So now the small updates are gonna be pretty far and few between, but thanks for clicking and I hope this goes well. There we go. <laughs> it's October 8th, a little dark circles are my eyes, still getting used to the new sleep schedule. Um, things are going very well. So uh, today was actually a little unproductive, but I had a lot to do. So I didn't get to today's goal. But I finished a lot of the Udemy section in the past eight days. I skipped all the HTML stuff and the intro and intermediate CSS, covered the advanced and expert CSS courses, covered the advanced HTML and CSS course, covered the JavaScript course, covered the two J, three jQuery courses, uh, and I just uh, covered the um, WordPress course, although I won't really be using WordPress during this challenge thing. I didn't need it for something else though, I'll get to that in a moment. I have PHP, intermediate PHP, intro to MySQL, advanced PHP, PHP and MySQL challenge to work on, but those um, will be working as the week goes on. However, my remakes have been going pretty well. We can go ahead and see we have pretty normal Google. Now I didn't color this, obviously. Uh, it was it would be a super easy thing to do, just a bunch of span tags. But we have an about and a store up here, and they do link, like they hover, so your mouse turns. There's like a footer down here. Let me maximize this footer down here, and then it kind of has your profile picture on the top. It's a little cropped off on the right. So the second one is a remake of this Weebly site. So this is the original. Um, as you can see here, and then this is the non-original. Obviously the background's different, it's a little wider, but you know, goal achieved. It has kind of general stuff. I could work with the spacing here, I could work with the font sizes, I could throw some images on there. I forgot to do the footer, I just realized, but submit button, all that fun stuff. And lastly, we have our Facebook website, which has not been remade yet, but is on the HTML phase. So as you can see here, uh, this is all of the Facebook HTML with the classes and stuff assigned. I'm gonna do it pretty in depth. I've decided for this Facebook one, I'm gonna have like a messenger thing on the bottom that opens up and down. Uh, I'm gonna have, um, on the left and right, try to get those items to be collapsible, uh, and you can like switch back and forth between like how many views a page has. As far as the Facebook site goes, I'm gonna get try to get the CSS out done in the next two or so days, and then that JavaScript script stuff done on Friday, and then hopefully wrap up that whole page on Monday latest. 
And then we do have the uh, index page mockups done. So I'm gonna go ahead and slot those on the screen right now. Those are the stage one mockups. Yeah, so far so good. We're just over a week in. I'm a little behind schedule, but not terribly so. Upset remakes took more time than I thought, which is good though. The Facebook page, I'm happy that I'm deciding to dive into it a lot more. Uh, but I will slow down with the courses as I catch up with them. I'm hoping to get the portfolio site out by October 20th. So the next 12 days or so, uh, and that includes the base four pages, which is the index page, monthly projects, kind of explaining things, um, and like my projects and stuff, and then the Mark side, which will be my blog sort of thing. <laughs> okay, so it's October 11th. Unfortunately, the past two or three days have been very unproductive in terms of this project. Today, I, you know, I plan to get stuff done on the Facebook thing. I plan to get stuff done on yesterday for the Facebook thing. They just never did get done. I feel like I have an excuse to say that the other work got in the middle of it. A lot has actually piled up this month though. Um, tomorrow, Saturday, I'm pretty much saying I'm not gonna get anything done past 9 a.m. Uh, when I wake up, I'm planning to wake up around 6.30, 7. I'm gonna try to get the CSS for the Facebook page done, try to just get that all the way, all out of the way, and then uh, Sunday in the evening probably. First half, I'll probably be out of town. I'm gonna try to get the JavaScripts and stuff done so that I can officially say for the last two weeks of October, I'm working on a portfolio website. The mock-ups have been super useful. My knowledge of CSS, I feel like has not necessarily grown, but I've grown a deeper, a deeper understanding of it, and I stutter there, Mark. Uh, and especially JavaScript, and specifically how JavaScript can interact with CSS elements. Now, PHP and MySQL uh, will be coming along as well. That will be the last part of my website that I do, so just getting the index page and the mock-up done will be the main main, uh, main project there. Regarding the sleep schedule thing I sort of mentioned uh, earlier in this video, uh, I'm waving this weekend. <laughs> Alright, so regretfully it's still been very unproductive. I had a bit of a rough few days the past few days, but I am looking to get back on track, so I've still got only the uh, Facebook, so I still have the Facebook HTML done. CSS and JavaScript and the jQuery for that Facebook page. I want to get done um, by this week alongside uh, the intermediate, advanced, uh, and all the MySQL courses on the Udemy page. So hopefully by the end of Saturday, that means Facebook will be done, which is like the last copy website I've been doing uh, to help me solidify my skills. The next week then will be kind of making my own website, maybe one page every two or every three days. And then by the end of the month, I should be all set. Uh, and the OneCraft website should be started. I've already did the, did the mock-up um, because I couldn't get myself to do Facebook, so I figured I'd do something the, the other day. Anyway, I think enough talking. It's finally time I try to record a little coding montage. Okay, I finally finished it. Or I'm I'm saying I'm done with it. I've spent I, I don't know. There were a few days where I just didn't work on the Facebook project. I took I watched the PHP videos and I want to put them in use. So I'm gonna jump straight to my portfolio website and put the dynamic stuff in use. Once I get the dynamic part of the website, but um, this is Facebook. <laughs> Clearly, it is a off-brand Facebook. Uh, left styles over here, they highlight properly. Uh, over here you have post, these are just copy and pasted obviously. Um, hovers don't work on those. And on the right here, I was gonna have a bar that goes down. Now, the reason why I didn't totally flush it out was because I have the good feeling that I can do that. I can, if I download the right icons, if I spend enough time styling it, I have the, the ability, I have the confidence in myself that I would be able to totally style Facebook Virtually the same as what it is, but this is good enough for me. Uh, it was good practice, and I'm ready to jump straight into my portfolio site. So speaking of the progress for that website, here we have my handy dandy calendar. 
I'm gonna slightly blur some stuff because there are addresses on here of my classes. But essentially where you see green, dark green is wherever I'm working on the website. Purple is my classes, blue is algorithms review, whatever. Uh, so the plan is for tomorrow to finish the rest of the Intro to MySQL course uh, and actually do the front end, all of the front end for the index page, which I have a mock-up for. Things will probably change. Uh, and then there's like an advanced PHP and MySQL challenge, but I think that's sort of just making the website that you made previously in the course that I'm watching on Udemy dynamic. I mock up the monthly project page on Monday morning, uh, and then I hopefully wrap up the index front end. Like doing all the PHP, jQuery, and MySQL stuff that I've been learning. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm glad I got back on track for the Facebook page, but uh, that's my <laughs> alarm to go to bed. Feeling good to be on track for this portfolio site. There are 12 days left in the month, and I am ready to go. All right, folks, it's well overdue for an update, but things are going well. It's October 26th. I have five days to finish everything else. The index CSS page is complete, and the portfolio page is like 95% there. Uh, amongst IDE troubles and stuff, uh, here we have the index page. Looks looks just pretty much just as I wanted it to. Um, if you scale it down, some things do, unfortunately, not work, but I want to work on that in the future. These things here are all echoed through PHP, but in the future, uh, I will have it so that whenever I make a new post on the projects page, which is not done yet, but on the projects page here, uh, it'll, it'll take the last post there and put it on the index page, essentially. Uh, and then the video that showed failed hackathon will be um, just the latest from a YouTube playlist. And then uh, Mark's side will be the latest blog post doing the same thing as the monthly projects. And then I also have the portfolio um, page done, 95% again. <laughs> Just to compare, here's the mock-up, uh, right? You got the text in the center. And then here is the actual page. So I think this text over here needs to be actually widened a lot. As you can see, we got a lot of space filling the sides. That's okay by me. Uh, and then you have your basic tabs here. The thing that's not working right now is this navigation bar because I need to make it dynamic. Is So here we have our browser, right? This is our entire browser. A web page is loaded in this entire thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm loading an entirely new page in here. That will change. Essentially it'll say, okay, if it's development, we're gonna show them the development tabs. Otherwise we're gonna fill it with art stuff, etc. I have midterms this week, so I'm hoping to get the uh, monthly projects page uh, working CSS and stuff tomorrow. It's essentially the same thing, right? So I have all the styles the same, except for the inside container, which is why it's a separate document. Just so I can insert a different document for the monthly projects page, and you can see this is green. Uh, and then all that will change is when you click on one of these, again, this will change to a new page, and then all of these up here will change because based on variables. Now I'm really excited. I think that PHP for this part and the portfolio part won't be hard. It'll just be loading information from databases. The tough part is going to be bringing that over to the index page and making sure it doesn't auto-populate every time it loads or something like that, which I might have to do, but we'll see. Hopefully the plan is I get all the CSS out of the way by Monday, crank out my midterms, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe carrying into November even, um, finish up the PHP and stuff. But the next monthly project is animation. I already in my uh, ballpark on half an hour was just right. Um, so, voila, we have monthly projects here. Now another page does need to be styled. For example, you'll be able to click on one of these uh, and it'll show up like this. And at the moment, it looks like this, um, which is honestly fine. I might actually keep them in line because I like how it looks. I might change the colors though. Um, and then when you click on one of them, the styling for that will be super duper easy. And I just need to change what it looks like up here. Um, doing this website was also part of it. And I have styled the first page and just put it under construction and it looks good. It's October 29th. The CSS and front end is mostly done. I know there's a buzz, I'm sorry. It's been midterms, so I've been doing that. A little bit of procrastination here and there, of course, but it's been taking up my time of doing psych practice problems in October right now. I have no PHP done, no auto population. Virtually none of the dynamic stuff is done. I've looked into the YouTube stuff, but uh, pretty much we're looking at maybe getting some stuff done tonight, but I have psych problems to finish up. And then psych exam two, doing some research for the KOA page, portfolio blitz. <laughs> And then probably some more stuff here, and then Portfolio Blitz. I need to get it done by tonight, because then I'm starting my... And I'm so scared for the animation project. Whenever this video goes up, I'm hoping to get it up the first week of November. I'm, I'm horrified. Uh, I'm so scared. Anyway, gonna get back to these practice problems. Hopefully get to some PHP tonight. <sighs> 
really want to finish this, man. I really want to finish this. All right, folks. So it is October 31st, Halloween, officially. It's the last day of October. The website should be done by now. It's 10.54 p.m. It's not done. Uh, I still have so much dynamic stuff to do. I did barely anything today. I was working on Discord bot. Got a lot of stuff done. There's other stuff I wanted to do. But right now I have a to-do list. So as you can see, there's all this, these blue dots right here represent something to do my portfolio website. So I've just been demotivated these past two days. So right now I'm writing down, or I'm about to write down all of the things that I need to do to really explicitly define it. Because I think my main thing, I'm sorry, the framing is so bad, is that I'm scared to get, I'm scared to sit down and do it because I'm scared of how much searching and Googling I'm going to have to do. But hopefully it won't be too bad. I got the auto population on the monthly project site working. I just need to get the auto population on the portfolio site working. And then over the first week of November or so, I'll actually fill in the actual content of the page and then upload it or something. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at. So I hope that next time I'm talking to the camera, the website project is done. I'm okay with giving myself a day of leeway to consider the monthly project a success. But anyway, without further rambling, I'm gonna head to bed and let's jump right into web design for almost an entire day. I know I said I was gonna be done by the time I recorded next, but look look at this, ready? Okay, so big query code here, right? And then a PHP variable here. And then if you go to the portfolio, you click development and it'll show up all the development stuff. And if you go arts, it'll show all the art stuff. And these all work, trust me, I just haven't filled them. Good success, so far so good. I just have to make the entire blog page. It's 7.45, <laughs> yeah. I might actually cry right now. It's gone. It's the goal, 12.04 a.m. on November 2nd, 12.06 a.m. on November 2nd. Oh my God. So here we have the, the main page. This definitely needs to be like restyled a little bit. And this form doesn't work yet. That's fine though. It's not gonna be hard. Portfolio. I'm, I'm actually super happy with how this turned out. Um, I'm gonna obviously need to do a little more styling, but you can click on each of these and it will like, kind of load up. Um, stuff that's not actually stored in the database, I decided it would be easier to just have it uh, static, just HTML on the page, and it, it was, and no need to load it from a database, I'm not gonna be changing it that often. And then if you go ahead and click up here on projects, um, this spacing here needs to change, obviously these are loaded from the table, uh, and then over time they will line up, you know, sequentially and be nice and ordered. And lastly, the feature I just finished, mark side, the blue version of all of this, these two were written as static posts and then copied into the database. And this was attempt number nine at making my own post. So you go over here, you click login, and a small little form pops up. And I have a password that I have hashed, and you hit submit. And if you, if you hit the wrong password, it just disappears, but then this shows up if you hit the right one. So we're gonna go ahead and type in a post. Make post. Uh, this needs to be fixed, obviously. <laughs> it should redirect you, but clear. oh, it's doing one extra directory. So pretty much already fixed. You go back to mark side. So I did parse the HTML, but it's there. And then it will load the most recent five posts from the table. Dude, I can't believe I've actually finally done it. So obviously it's not a complete website. There's still some styling things that need to be done. I just, I love this like dark black with like the pastelish colors. Anyway, this is probably such a super long video, but if you've made it, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. This is my first like super in-depth month project. Um, the language stuff was more learning. This was learning and doing. And I'm really excited now to get work, to start working on my November project. A video will be coming out for that, so keep an eye out. Use your plans, include getting that form work on the index page, doing some styling there. Uh, for this blog, I want to have a little column on the right here with my thoughts, or like it'll be like a Twitter feed almost. Um, and then on the portfolio page, uh, for the monthly projects, one of the big things is I wanna be able to just upload a brand new monthly project. But uh, enough about the website for now. Uh, I just wanna spend the last few minutes of this video, already super long, I understand. Um, going over the goals I set at the beginning of the month, right? So, essentially the October goals were, the main one was the portfolio and only crap websites. I consider that a win. Um, I did go a day over, but that's okay. Um, the only crap website's not done, sure, but I got under construction and I have plenty of ideas planned out and the portfolio site got to where I wanted it. Um, Self-improvement, staying keto, check. Wake up by 6 a.m. every morning, not so check. Uh, I woke up at like 6.30, 7 a.m. some mornings. Hopefully I'll be able to get that fan out of the audio, but uh, near zero Twitter and Facebook, definitely a check. I think I reduced my usage of both platforms so much. I just log out now and it's a lot less to go in. 
pushing mental limits, memorize the deck of cards in under two minutes. I didn't even touch that, not even once. Uh, and then continuing Spanish and Italian, yeah, sort of. Oh, I forgot Duolingo yesterday. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and then Unity, did not keep up with Unity, but um, this month is animation, so I'm gonna spend some time today planning it. I'm gonna let myself go over one day in December. Uh, but for now, I'm heading off to bed. If you wanna know more details about those goals, you can look on my Twitter page. It's currently the, the pinned tweet, although in November might be twinned at the, pinned at this point. But thank you so much for watching again. Uh, it's been really cool to log this experience and I look forward to logging the November project. I'm getting more excited for it now that I've actually finished the October project. Oh man, this, the fact that I'm getting monthly projects done makes me so, it makes me feel a little emotional. Uh, I've, I've come a long way in the past two or so months. Uh, anyway, keep an eye out for future videos. Have a good one. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you want to tackle some kind of project of your own. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, Thanks for watching, have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay off.